Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and can contact me and can drop your very valuable feedback. Now we have learning quite a lot about SQL Injection but really to be honest the true protection from an SQL injection attack is to gain more and more knowledge about the injection types and techniques by only which you can actually get rid of these. Now while finding the solutions of SQL injection prevention you might have heard that implementation of various security tags like strip slashes and various firewalls could actually protect you but as we discussed in the starting initial videos that these things should be taken care in such a master way that you can actually get rid of SQL injection. Now many of the programmers say hey if I use a tag that says uh, strip slashes or add slashes or something like that strip tags that I can actually get rid of the any kind of SQL injection. But really this is not at all a true approach to be honest. So in this video we are going to take a couple of looks on how we can actually do lots of things and for that again we have got a new lesson for you and here we have got lesson 15.zip. Let me open up a command terminal, zoom it a bit so that things are visible and let me go to first of all let me try to move this file from slash root desktop lesson file to slash war www master. Also let me travel to the same path and here we are. So we notice that our file where it is here it is lesson 15.zip file let me try to unzip the file unzip lesson 15 for you and now before moving on to starting let us first of all start my services actually so that I can tell you a couple of things service Apache 2 let me check the status it's running and that means I have al already started the MySQL as well so let us try to launch a Firefox you can also launch it from the internet and Firefox but really you have to give a couple of clicks and I really don't like that because things from the command prompt to terminal are really really fast so we have got lesson 15 and here it is so this type of injection is a really really uh, easy one you can say simply because people are having a misbelief that hey strip slashes and add slashes strip tags are going to work for us but really implementation of those tags should be done in such a precise manner that anyone cannot able to inject into your database. So first of all what I really want to show you is let me travel to the lesson 15 and do a quick ls and I want to show you this index.php file uh, because things are really really interesting in out here so first of all data is all about the form and after that you might see a couple of things here like that says uh, strip slashes are one of the very good function to prevent the SQL injection code and also we are having a function that says uh, get magic code so these are really really important that I really really want to wish you that you take care of these things and look at, at the source code at least once a time. Now here we have got a query that says uh, where it is here it is the query is update user set password where username equals to some value let me uh, just copy it down so let me copy this query too so that we can analyze a couple of things on it so let me copy it and open up our gedit so that we can actually analyze what is out there missing and how we can inject into this oops the things doesn't get copied let me copy it and again paste it okay so the query here that actually says let me bring it to the center so that it's more visible so it says update user users set password to some value let us uh, just get in very general that here we have to input some thing okay and where username equals to and again uh, we ha we are having here is 
some value okay so now things are important here can we inject into these kinds of injections so let us try on our web web and add first and then we will again come back here and i hope the query is pretty much clear you can get actually every query out from the lab setup that's why i've given you the lab setup now it says you will actually be able to update the passwords and everything from here so let me open up a new terminal and log in into the database that is mysql hyphen u user is root and hyphen p is two. okay so use the database that we have built up security and select star from users so we can see the all the username and password out here so for example the admin is having a password admin let us go back to our username and let me try the things out here so let me try to update a username so it says username is this admin and I want to change the password to let's say one two three four five so if I do a submit it gives me a thumbs up that means the password is being changed let us again verify it because we are pen tester we are not going to just take the words as a granted so we see that the password got updated as admin12345. Now as a penetration tester, I would like to enumerate it with a single quote, but nothing is going to work because we have already taken a look into the source code. So it gives a thumbs down. Let us try with the double quotes in both the field. Okay, thumbs down again. Let's try the backslash here as well. Okay, so nothing works. So how we can do SQL injection in these kinds of attacks? Now, first of all, let me remind you, this attack is really, really powerful. Don't try it in your, even in your pen testing because you may uh, somehow able to crash all the database out there. So first get a copy of the database, master it on the lab setup, and then only try it. So first of all, admin. Now let us try and hit that, suppose we hit a single quote and we hit R and we give it one equals to one and comment out rest of the things. Now let us try what happens if I do a submit. It gives me a thumbs up, but what disaster that I have created right now is really a shocking one. I have updated all the password as one. Now this is not actually the one, this is the true. Now why it is, ha it is happening out there? Let us try it out here. So uh, this thing, uh, password, what I have given in the password field was very simple. I have balanced the code by using a single quote. Then I have typed or one equals to one. And then I have commented out rest of the thing. So this one equals to one is eventually going to return us the one that means true. So rest of the part is being commented out and we have just crashed the entire database. Now we can log in into any of the username and password. So this can be really, really scary. But another important thing that we can do out here is also important one. Uh, what I can do out here is admin and if I hit a single quote out here and do a submit you will notice that I have received an error you have an SQL syntax uh, near the admin field so it is telling me that hey I have enclosed the admin into the single quotes I hope it is visible and you can simply what you can do you can copy it from here on to our G edit so if you do that you will notice that everything is being encoded in the single quote. Now this is also a vulnerable thing that it is prompting us, hey, everything is being enclosed in the single quote. Hey, come on, hacked into me. So this is really a point of impact where every developer should look at. So it's not just relying on the strip slashes. So I hope you got this a clear idea and make sure you reset the database uh, before proceeding and trying it again. What, how you can reset that? Just hit a backslash on the master uh, set up the database for the labs again. We have done it. And now what you can do, you can move on to the lesson number 15. Oops. The lesson number 15. And now again, if you try admin and let's say one, two, three, four and submit it, it's working. 
and also you can check out here as well that hey everything is fixed again so my advice would be uh, keep uh, checking the eye on everything out there if you're trying to have a password reset field that means it's not to rely everything uh, things get can get vulnerable after in, inside the password reset field as well so make sure you check out that one important task for you as well so what you have to do uh, you have to put a admin field here and hit a single quote here and once you notice that you have got an error now how you can proceed in this you can simply apply a double query injection because we are receiving an error now this error is really a beautiful thing we can change the error syntax in such a manner that we can get out some result just like as we have seen in the previous videos so you have to do a double query injection in this field and try to dump out the database name and version of the database so that's all for this video and uh, thank you so much for watching